Hello, this is the gamer's Dave Aubrey, and this is a full walkthrough for the first chapter of The Great Ace Attorney, The Great Departure. This chapter will tutorialize a lot of the elements that will feature regularly across the rest of the game, so it will feel relatively simple overall. All you really need to know is that you are accused of shooting a man dead in a restaurant, but you didn't actually do it. Once you've been introduced to the story and entered the courtroom, the first thing you will need to do is answer, I do. After a quick tutorial for using the court record, present John H. Wilson as the victim and the cause of death is found in the post-mortem report. Once Nosa and Korakuta take the stand, present the photograph of the victim against the fourth statement in the testimony. In the next testimony, press the third statement, which allows you to add the medical report card to evidence. Read through the testimony and examine the medical report card in the court record. Then, present the new evidence you found through examining it against the fourth statement, following this up with an as yet unknown third party when prompted. Now examine the business card given to you earlier by the waiter, Hosunaga. There's some important information on the rear of the card. When asked who could keep the third party secret, select Hosunaga, and then present the business card as evidence. This will bring Miss Giselle Brett to the stand, the third party who was at the restaurant in question. When the cross-examination begins, press the second statement which will cause her to add the fact that they drank carbonated water to the testimony. With this statement in the testimony, present the crime scene photograph. After some back and forth, a photograph of handbag will be added to the evidence. To highlight the significance of this photo, point out the burn marks on the victim's wrist, and then present the crime scene photograph again, highlighting the same symbol on the plate in the picture. The conclusion here is that the victim was already deceased. Miss Brett will now be willing to divulge a bit more information. In her new testimony, press Miss Brett on her fifth statement and you'll see partway through that Hosanaga reacts to what she says. After the testimony, you'll be tutorialized on pursuing witnesses that react to the statements of others. Go back to the fifth statement and press it again. This time you'll be able to pursue Hosanaga as he reacts and he'll present the carbonated water bottle. Present this evidence against Brett's fourth statement and this will cause Suzatu Mikutaba to enter the courtroom, bearing new evidence, Giselle's report. Examine Giselle's report and then present it when asked what new evidence the defense has. Assert the bottle contains poison and then specify the special characteristics section of the report. Next, present the medical report card. Narihodo will remember blood on the plate, so highlight it. Hosunaga will present the steak you remembered, and you can examine it to find a gold coin hidden underneath the meat. Present Kurio Kurokuta as the owner of the coin. When asked who stole the coin, present Iesa Nosa. Finally, against Miss Brett's final statement, present the steak and highlight the teeth marks. Hosunaga will be able to present the other steak he took from the scene that day, complete with the blood stain, indicating the plates were switched in the chaos. This implicates Miss Giselle Brett in the murder of the victim, and Naruhodo will be found not guilty. That is the first chapter of the game completed, but there is so much more to see in The Great Ace Attorney. For more interesting videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to The Gamer's YouTube channel, and also click the bell icon so you know exactly when we upload a new video. We have so much more planned, so leave a comment if there's something specific that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching.